Hi Tumblr Bunnies, this is Jessica, if you did not know who I was, Jessica Cowan on Tumblr, and across from me, who you're not going to see, is Rhiannon, my Hi. sister. Hi. Guys. <laughs> As you can see, I just get a feeling within me that she's going to interrupt me, probably, at some point of this. So, when I woke up today, I decided to watch Cinderella, because, I don't know, it was just a random act of Cinderella watching. And it got me thinking about one of my favourite books of all time, which is Revolting Rhymes by Roald Dahl. And my favourite poem in it is the one about Cinderella. And I was going to type it out for everybody to read, but then I realised that people really don't like reading that much. And it's really long, and I just thought no one's going to bother. So I decided that I would be awkward and weird and read it to you via video. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I will begin. This is actually probably... I've read this to a crowd sort of once before when in my literature class we were doing work on Roald Dahl, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and he's my favourite author. And they were talking about how he was a racist and everything, and I was getting really offended and upset, so I brought in Revolting Rhymes and read some of it to the class to try and prove a point. They like me reading it because it has the word slut in it, which is a bit of a spoiler, but something to watch out for. Okay, Cinderella by Roald Dahl. I guess you think you know this story. You don't. The real one's much more gory. The phony one, the one you know, was cooked up years and years ago and made to sound all soft and sappy just to keep the children happy. Mind you, they got the first bit right, the bit where in the dead of night, the ugly sisters, jewels and all, departed for the palace ball, while darling little Cinderella was locked up in a slimy cellar where rats who wanted things to eat began to nibble at her feet. She bellowed, help, and let me out. The magic fairy heard her shout. Appearing in a blaze of light, she said, My dear, are you all right? All right, cried Cindy. Can't you see? I feel as rotten as can be. She beat her fist against the wall and shouted, Get me to the ball. There is a disco at the palace. The rest have gone and I am jealous. I want a dress. I want a coach. And earrings and a diamond brooch. And silver slippers, two of those. And lovely nylon pantyhose. Done off like that, I'll guarantee the handsome prince will fall for me. The fairy said, hang on a tick, and gave her mighty wand a flick. And quickly, in no time at all, Cindy was at the palace ball. And made the ugly sisters wince to see her dancing with the prince. She held him very tight and pressed, herself against his manly chest. The prince himself was turned to pulp. All he could do was gasp and gulp. Then midnight struck, she shouted, heck, I've got to run to save my neck. The prince cried, no, alas, alack. <laughs> he grabbed her dress to hold her back. As Cindy shouted, let me go, the dress was ripped from head to toe. She ran, out, ugh. she ran out in her underwear and lost one slipper on the stair. The prince was on it like a dart. He pressed it to his pounding heart. The girl this slipper fits, he cried. Tomorrow morn shall be my bride. I'll visit every house in town until I've tracked the maiden down. Then rather carelessly, I fear, he placed it on a crate of beer. And, and at once one of the ugly sisters the one whose face was blotched with blisters, sneaked up and grabbed the dainty shoe and quickly flushed it down the loo. Then in its place she calmly put the slipper from her own left foot. Aha, you see, the plot grows thicker as Cindy's luck starts looking sicker. Next day the prince went charging down to knock on all the doors in town. In every house the tension grew, who was the owner of the shoe. The shoe was long and very wide. A normal foot got lost inside. Also it smelled a wee bit icky, the owner's feet were hot and sticky. Thousands of eager people came to try it on but all in vain. Now came the ugly sisters go, one tried it on, the prince screamed no. But she screamed yes, it fits whoopee, so now you've got to marry me. The prince went white from ear to ear, he muttered let me out of here. That wasn't really muttering, <laughs> oh well. Oh no you didn't, you made a vow, there's no way you can back out now. Off with her head, the prince roared back. They chopped it off with one big whack. This pleased the prince, he smiled and said. She's prettier without her head. Then up came sister number two, who yelled, Now I will try the shoe. Try this instead, the prince yelled back. He swung his trusty sword and smack. Her head went crashing to the ground. It bounced a bit and rolled around. In the kitchen, peeling spuds, Cinderella heard the thuds of bouncing heads upon the floor, and she poked her own head around the door. 
What's all the racket? Cindy cried. Mind your own biz, the prince replied. For well, Cindy's heart was torn to shreds. My prince, she thought, he chops off heads. How could I marry anyone who does that sort of thing for fun? The prince cried, who's this dirty slut? Off with her nut, off with her nut. Just then, all in a blaze of light, the magic fairy hove in sight. Her magic wand went swoosh and swish. Cindy, she cried, come make a wish. Wish anything and have no doubt that I will make it come about. Cindy answered, O oh, kind fairy, this time I shall be more wary. No more princes, no more money. I have had my taste of honey. I'm wishing for a decent man. They're hard to find. Do you think you can? Within a minute, Cinderella was married to a lovely fella, a simple gem maker by trade who sold good homemade marmalade. The house was filled with smiles and laughter, and they were happy ever after. So there you go. I hope that was sufficiently awkward and probably read way too fast. The moral of the story is don't have an unplanned pregnancies. <laughs> Is, she's a literature monster, so that's probably true. No, I made it up. Really? Yeah. You sound so sure. You should stop recording. I am now. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>